So first thing I see, <clears throat> I think I saw this in the last VOD too, actually. Um, this is something you should. So I also you look like you said you needed like a list of things to work on, kind of like to help. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because like it's hard to to when you have so many things you know you need to work on, it can kind of cause mm -hmm. overload, and then maybe that's what's yeah. kind of happening. But one thing I think you should implement immediately, like first thing, mm -hmm. is like when you like to I I would like you to not even think about the range of your queue, like uh, damage wise. Basically, what I'm saying mm -hmm. here is. I would like for you to just start using Q and just hitting them with it. I don't even care how. Like I don't like like right here. Like this is just letting her get away with mm -hmm. way too much. Um because like so look, if we look at her Q, 12 seconds, right? And then you look at your Q, 8 seconds. If we look at the damage mm -hmm. on her Q, uh it does about 130 if she lands both parts. Yours will do minimum 79, but you get potentially two passive autos or even just one so like mm -hmm. the fact that you're the cooldown for you is shorter mm -hmm. um you can get the same amount of damage and you're just straight up stronger early because like if you hit level two you're going to be stronger than her the, the fact that this cooldown is shorter means you're going to be you're you should have the push all this stuff basically just means we need to just be hitting them with this when they do stuff like this, just in general. I just want you to hit mm. them with your Q. I don't care. Especially these uh, range champs that walk up this far. Like, if she's back here, like, you mm. can still... Because, like, she's really far up. If she's back yeah. here, the way this changes is, like, so if you're over here and she's here, um, then, like, if you walk up to try to hit her, you're in her wave. So if she stuns you and you hit her, you guys trade abilities entirely, like, she's going to win. You're in her wave. But... Yeah. When she's up this far, that's not the case. So, in the other scenario, it's that's when you'd be trying to bait. Um, but here, you just need to defend yourself, fight her, hit her with an auto, hit her with a Q, uh, mm. and not like you wouldn't be throwing Q backwards here. You'd be th throwing it to the side mm. like that. But anyway, because like you see, she autos you, doesn't take damage. Walks up, autos you again, doesn't take damage. Oh, you know, I maybe did you auto her here, or was the minions? Did the minions do it? I think the minions hit her. Um, then she Qs you, and she still hasn't taken damage. And, like, now you're using Q. You see, it's too late. Mm -hmm. So, like, she's just... So, she took all this damage literally from minions. Mm -hmm. So, she overextended. She would have out-traded herself, even if you just autoed her. But with Q, you really smoke her. Mm -hmm. So, basically... Because it, it, it seems like, to me, you're almost... Like, well, actually, let me ask you. Why weren't you using Q here just right off the bat as she's walking up? What what would it, what do you uh, feel like prevented you from wanting to do that? I was freaking out about her stun. I like don't when the wave starts like this, mm -hmm. I am always like divided between uh like queuing the wave or auto wing one so they don't die all the same time, but I knew her Q was coming mm -hmm. and I like wanted to bait it. So that I could freely go get her, mm, but mm. then I ended up just malfunctioning altogether. That's fine. That's normal. Okay. Okay. Cool. So here we can fix that like this. Look. Well, that's I kind of covered it. Um, when I said like in this scenario, the one we're talking about up here, if you were here and she's here, mm. then it's more of a baiting game because you can't really force when she's back there. Yeah. But when they are walking up like this, like your Q here would get so much value because it would hit her and the wave, right? Mm -hmm. Um. So basically, you want to be focused more on baiting when you can't really do much to them anyway. Um, I know, so like, yeah, you were tunneled on her queue. So like, it's kind of important to know what happens if you guys trade your abilities with each other. So Bless if you guys both just hit each other with everything. Mm -hmm. That can change depending on how far, like if you're in her wave, she's in your wave, etc. This scenario we just covered. If you guys hit each other with everything, you win hard because she's going to be walking into your wave to do what she's doing. Um, <clears throat> so, basically, a little bit of over overthinking. Um, yeah. And I I'll, I'll explain more, like, when you should be baiting as mm -hmm. we, like, progress through the lane a bit, just to make it clear. But, okay. 
So she got a little bit of a free trade there. Okay. It's like right here. This mm. is one of those times where I, w I want you to just start hitting them. Mm -hmm. No matter what, just like throw it to the side over here. But mm -hmm. if you think about it, like the the difference in damage compared to like how reliable it is to hit. Like if you throw it back here, hitting her is actually impossible if she just walks this way. Yeah. But if you throw it this way, you're still getting a decent amount of damage because she's probably going to walk this way. Um, mm -hmm. But you'll still be able to hit her. Um, and with her, with a Nivea Q, like when you're pretty far away you don't even have to preemptively dodge it it helps a little bit to preemptively click and then like kind of react a little bit to where like try to see the angle but mm -hmm. it's so it's so slow that yeah yeah uh, you can you can dodge it but okay okay so let's see what you do now that you baited though okay yeah see this is what i'm talking about right here so like mm -hmm. it's it's good that you baited this or it's good that like you know you moved you dodged just whatever but to get a punish you need to, you know, no matter how little damage you get with this, it just needs yeah. to land. That's all. Okay. Because um, this is definitely one of your bigger issues that I've seen in your landing phase. Uh, yeah. Because, like, what you should do here is, like, walk at her. She only has one range minion. So she autos you here and you auto her, you win. And then as she, like, depending on how she moves, you know, if she walks at you, Sure, throw mm -hmm. Q behind you quickly and throw it at her. She can't really dodge it. But yeah. if she runs away, you know, then you throw the Q, like, towards her. She runs away. Mm -hmm. That creates more distance for the Q. And then you hit her with it. As long as the Q lands, that's all we need. We need the Q to land. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, good potion. So now, when it comes to using the Q on the wave compared to using Q on them. So, like, right mm -hmm. here. There's no, it's not too easy. Uh, like, you can hit her with the Q here. Like, if you walk down this way, throw it here, throw it here. The problem is, you guys are both, like, the, the way, she's actually ahead in the push a little bit. Yeah. Um. So, this is one of those times you could, like, walk away, Q, hit the front line. Because mm -hmm. um, remember, if you're trying to push, hitting the front line is more important than hitting the back line. We kind of covered this, like, your very first coaching session. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So, like, you could throw a Q here, hit these two, try to kill them. The problem is, you know, when you do that, it then she does have, like, a window to try to punish you. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> But this is all going to be, like, the wave state, the way it is currently, is just, like, an accumulation of everything that's happened so yeah. far. Mm -hmm. Uh, Because, you know, if you punish her, if you are throwing Qs, like, off cooldown, either hitting her and the wave or hitting the wave, the, the lane would look totally different. But... Mm -hmm. That's like kind of the what's happening here. Um, now, if you can't win the push, like let's say it's just not possible here, she has too much HP, you you made a few mistakes or something, it's fine to just let her crash the first three waves. But yep. yeah, that's the dynamic currently. All right, let's see what you do. Okay, you got level two. Careful here. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> so it was good that you were walking up like and knew you were hitting two and then like walked forward with two. The problem here is... Which I don't expect you to be able to, I guess, see this yet. But mm -hmm. seeing that, like, I don't think you knew she was about to hit level 2 as well. I think you were more just looking at your own level 2 to her um, level 1. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can tell me if I'm wrong. Oh, no, that's true. I okay. didn't focus on that. Okay. Yeah, I don't expect you to. But this only happens when the wave state is, like, nearly even like, like it has been. When there's no advantage between the two. Or no... Like, not a big enough advantage. So, if you were pushing level one, you know, and, sh and like, playing the lane properly, she has to kind of sit back there a little bit. Uh, mm. And then, like, then you're going to hit level two, like, an entire minion before her minimum. So, you can abuse it like that. Yeah. But, yeah, when you don't have a significant push advantage or anything, she's going to hit level two same time. So, like, now she would win here for sure. Because she can avoid your bubble just by you know, standing near her minions, and then she hits you with Q, mm -hmm. E, auto. There's not much else you can do. And you're going to eat the whole wave. She's not. Yeah. Yeah, so, got to be a little careful here. Oh, boy. Okay. Bork so these fucking nuts! She got a little nuts. bit scared. Oh, nice. Twister, Mr. Shitty, Blister, Deadly Twister on Daddy's Fister Sister uh -oh. was Fister by Mr. Magister on okay, Testosterone okay, okay. Sister. Yeah, I teamed the minions a couple times in the training phase because I'm having a stroke. 
<laughs> yeah, I feel you. It's a little bit, um... So look, here, like, you dodged her Q, and then it, clearly you saw, or felt like, okay, I, she has no Q, I can punish, try to walk up, use bubble. Um, the thing here is, because of the wave, it's a little bit, you know, it's a little bit tough, but to make it easier, so, look, you're, like, walking around like this, like, literally just walk on top of her. Gotcha. That's, like, the only way to make this easy, because, like, if you walk to here... You know, it depends how she moves from there, but you definitely don't want to keep the minions between you and her. Yeah. <clears throat> um, because it's pretty, it's actually nearly impossible for her to straight up, uh, prevent you from getting close enough to land the bubble because of creep block. Mm -hmm. That's, you know, why creep block's in the game, actually. But yeah. this was, this was kind of, uh, sad. You know, you're, you're trying to not hit the minion. Yep. Uh, I kind of got robbed on that a bit. That's kind of unfortunate. I don't know how that didn't hit her, actually. But oh, nice! Oh, so yes. yeah, yeah. Um, ah, uh, yeah. Okay, this, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So this would have been great if that you know you like so so like you see you're right here. Like if you walk mm -hmm. this way, she can't actually just walk through the wave all the time. She's just like go around one of these two sides. Gotcha. So, like, you walk over next to her, then you throw it. I'm not really too worried about this. This is kind of like... Your mental stack is going to be a bit too overloaded to take into account Anivia's egg and how much... If you have enough damage to kill her after the egg and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so, yeah, this is a little bit... This is unfortunate that you didn't have the damage here because of the bubble. It's alright. It's not that big of a deal. This matchup doesn't get easier, though. Uh... Yeah. Let's see. Everything makes sense so far? Yeah. Uh, a lot of the mistakes I'm making, they're like a culmination of like how I made the mistake before that mistake. So I like feel this pressure to like, I know I'm letting her get away with stuff. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that's exactly why I like stood there next to the egg. Yeah. I knew I was going to get killed by it because I'm like, well, <laughs> I'm mm -hmm. doing so I need to try to make it work. But, yeah. Like, I mean, it all makes sense and is, yeah. <laughs> yeah, here, actually. I'm, I'm We're ended. So if I pull this over, let's make something new here. Uh, new. Okay. So, I think for you, like, you, the most important thing, like, just land Q forehead. And that obviously just means, like, don't worry about the distance. Yeah. Um, that's the first thing we need to fix. Just make sure that shit lands, uh, mm -hmm. regardless of how much damage you get. Second thing, um, focus on, like, creating a good wave state first. So, wave state's, like, you know, so important on Zoe since minions block her damage. So, basically... Focus on pushing. Uh, that means like non-stop autos early. If if they give you no Q angles, you know, use it on the front line. Um, these are like the two things we want to incorporate immediately um, because mm -hmm. it looks like you already ha kind of have the like because. The fact that you hit level two and walk forward means you mm -hmm. kind of have that piece in your head. So if you if you do these first, then mm -hmm. you use the level like knowing that you're strong at level two. That will all actually work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, it'll actually work. <laughs> Problem is like yeah, you could you know with Laney, it's like you can have bits and pieces, but you uh -huh. kind of need them all for them to work, right? Gotcha. Um, because like I like the like I like baiting and stuff. But it's almost like down here, it's like mm -hmm. you almost need the these things first before yeah. baiting becomes effective, right? Yeah, that's so, what we so that's what we'll start with for now. Uh, there's not much you can do here, Zoe. Okay, this is good. This is really good, actually. You hate to see it, but yeah, this was good. This was good that you froze here because she she took a bad recall. Nice. 
Okay, so we'll get a little bit of a catch up a little bit here. <clears throat> okay, so you can thin this out a little bit more if you want. Uh, yeah. Basically, you just need to make sure that, like a rule of thumb for a scenario like this, just make sure she has like three ranged. Gotcha. Um, that won't freeze permanently, but it'll freeze long enough to punish her recall. Yeah. She didn't have TP too, so that was helpful. What'd you say? She doesn't have TP either, so that was helpful. Yeah, 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 with no TP. Oh, okay. Okay, 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 none of this though. Alright, alright. So. Right here. So the thing with, the way these sequences are going to work, like always. Unless mm -hmm. they have, unless you have a. <coughs> excuse me significant advantage um so you froze here she's bleeding mm -hmm. the whole time right now when she comes back because you're freezing she will have the advantage so like you let her once she gets back let her clear it let it crash gotcha. um because doing this right here she should kill your ass for this shit mm -hmm. you know like you she can just walk up even if you land the bubble um like look she's like, look, see, like, now she should kill you for this, but we'll see what she does. Mm, she had a shitty wall, though. Yeah. So she should actually kill you for that. I think I do die. So well, sure how. <laughs> well, like, basically, she should kill you just right there, basically. Gotcha. Because, um, mm -hmm. like, yeah, like, when you freeze, you're giving them the minion advantage. So you have to, yeah. like, let them, cr let it crash, clear the wave, and then fix your wave state. That's why I have this here because this is wave state's always going to be the the first important thing yep um so yeah good freeze but knowing what to do after is uh, mm -hmm. important too okay so now we're in trouble again because you know because after she crashes this and then you then you're going to try you know you'd be trying to push towards mm -hmm. her to get the it, advantageous wave states you can trade properly mm -hmm. the problem here is even if you do that now you've lost so much health that it won't matter yeah. mm -hmm. see i definitely need this to crash or need like some oh no you're definitely dead yep. yeah. yeah yeah okay so currently um wait so uh, let me ask you something here actually because i'm curious mm -hmm. when you walked up past the wave right here to do like, mm -hmm. so, what made you think you could do this? That this was like a play you could make. Honestly, I'm not sure. I know that I think I like tunneled in on the fact that she didn't have egg, but I don't freeze mm. this big of a wave uh, mm. this often. Mm -hmm. So I forgot that I was just gonna take all of it. Um, okay. And then I actually managed to land a bubble and. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's I, it's like a culmination of the mistakes before, and mm -hmm. you just try and make up for it. I okay, yeah. So this is what we want. You, this is what I want you to do. Let's just like, um, so like this could be partly my fault. This is always the issue I have when I coach people. Is like you know I try to give them their like as much like their money's worth basically. Like mm -hmm. I I don't. It's always been this problem I've had where it's like I feel like the better I, I sh I'm giving them too much sometimes, mm -hmm. but I don't want to just be like, yeah, that's all I'm giving you this session. And then, you know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. I, I want them yeah. to, it to be worth for them. Um, yeah. So I'm this could be sure. partly my fault. I maybe have given you too much, um, <clears throat> but it's fine. Uh, now we can kind of draw it back a little bit. So mm -hmm. what we want you to do is go into it kind of just like with a very, very simple game plan. We want you going into mm -hmm. the matchup, Focusing purely on, like, you know, landing the, your cues and mm -hmm. having the wave, like, focusing purely on having the wave state in a, in a, in a uh, having the wave be in a state where you can trade properly, meaning, like, you pushing into them. That's, like, the two things we want. That's it. That's, like, that's exactly where you can start. Mm -hmm. Because without those two, it doesn't matter what the fuck you do. You know, you can dodge every single ability from her here. She wins with autos. Yeah. So, we can just bring back the basics here. Um, <clears throat> and that that should help you a, a decent amount. Um, and, and all your trading windows should be... So, like, it doesn't mean you can't trade with her when the wave's this big. Yeah, I'll explain that real quick. 
Mm. Here we go. Probably giving too much information here. <laughs> but, like, when they have the advantageous wave state, like, they have more minions, mm. then your trading becomes more defensive, meaning, like, you sit back here, and if they overextend into your wave mm. to try to fight you, then their wave doesn't mean anything. So then, like, you defend yourself, and, and you can win trades that way. But you can't force any trades. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> okay. So yeah, your plan's gonna be get the wave in a good spot, and then contest their CS, because that is, like, the, the main fundamental of, of laning. Mm. Um, okay, so then you end up dying here, right? Yeah, because you can't do anything. You said you ended up coming back, though. I do, but mostly because she... I think it's all minion-related and stuff. Or experience minion-related. Well, so, so right here, like, this is one of those scenarios where, like I was saying, like, unless you have some significant advantage, you can't really walk yeah. past their wave, but this is a time you can, yeah. Okay. Um, Because, you know, if you land the bubble, she dies. So, mm -hmm. let's see what you do here. Okay, so she's, what we've seen from her so far when you walk at her like this is she moves back and forth. If I were you, I don't remember mm -hmm. how she dodges here, but just from, like, seeing that, I would send it straight down the middle. Let's see what happens. Nice. See? I would have done the same exact goddamn thing, and I would have missed, too. Mm -hmm. So, because, you you know, it's, it's... So, okay. Now, I would have I done the same thing if I approached her head on like that. Mm -hmm. But... I wouldn't, I wouldn't have been approached her head on. So I will show you what I would have done. So mm -hmm. first, I would be on the other side of the... Well, well, why are you on this side? Let me just ask that first. I... <clears throat> no reason? No reason. It's not like I saw Nunu on this side or anything. So I, it's just how I'm approaching her. Okay. So I think it's just random. Okay. So do you know why I'd be on the other side? Yeah, to corral her to Nunu? Uh, no, it's no, no. Like this. Oh, okay. Nothing so, about that. remember, tower range is like this, right? Oh, yes. Okay, okay. Yeah, so, like, over here, you have much more room to work with before being in tower range. Mm. So, now, it doesn't matter. Like, it's not like you can't kill her approaching from this side. It's just you mm. have more, like, more freedom over here. So, if I were you, I'd be over here. And I'd approach mm -hmm. her from the side because then she has to choose between, you know, walking this way or walking this way. Um, if she walks this way, that's great. That's what you want. Mm -hmm. And it's easy to because like basically at this point, if you walk at her head on like this. It's essentially a guess. Mm -hmm. And the, the and the whole thing with skill shots, like the concepts I teach you guys, it's to um, make the odds just more in your favor right because mm -hmm. you can't guarantee anything lands a lot of the time mm -hmm. um so yeah if i'm you here and i'm approaching head on i would have missed too but what i would have done is like you know if you walk at her like this walk to the side see how she responds you know just walk up walk to the side do the little z uh skill shot concept we've talked about you know what i'm talking about you're talking about making her juke or like walking to one side she will oh. like so they go down. <laughs> right, yeah. She'll probably go somewhere over here. Because, like, think about it. If you walk this way, like, diagonal at her, what are the odds she walks in your direction, like, walks towards you? That's a good point. Like, basically, her options are this. That, like, the best way for her to dodge, which there's no way this either would ever do it. If you walk at her like this, like, she should walk this way. Mm -hmm. But she wants to walk away from you, so she's going to walk somewhere over here so if you walk up like this and then shoot it this way the odds of it landing go way up or where let's just say 80 percent. where here it's like almost 50 50 yeah you know what i'm saying so it's not that it's not that you made a mistake missing it's just you can increase the odds that it lands with these concepts yes. mm -hmm. um and like so this is a good example to talk about like if you should even be thinking about that um you don't have to even think about this currently if you don't want like, you really don't um, because if you do the other things that we've talked about so far, the more important things, even mm -hmm. without this concept, you'll still win the lane, just not as hard. Yeah. Like you might miss some kills, 
but you won't lose lane and you can still win all that stuff and like these will like this this could hit the next time you know she she's probably moving kind of almost kind of random so mm. this is something that you can think about when your mental stack feels clear enough there's going to be times where once you get comfortable controlling the wave knowing when to go in where you walk up and you can have full focus on what on this thing until mm. that happens, until you feel comfortable enough, you don't even have to apply it. You can just put it in the back until right. later. Or you can go into a game and be like, hmm, what am I going to fix today? Like, um, let's let's practice, you know, or no, let's say this. Let's say like you do with those other things we talked about, right? And then like you're winning the lane and like, you're nice and comfy because you're winning the lane. Then it's like, okay, now maybe now I can, next time I walk up to bubble her when she gets back, I'm going to try to apply one of those things, you know, something like that. Yeah. I'm just going to really try to make sure I, I tell you what to prioritize so you can well, not like, overthink. You did like the first session we had, like, I mean, I went away with like, get the push and then contest CS, but I don't, I don't know. For some reason I can go cloudy during these games, especially when I'm doing skill shots, because then I default back to like, six years of doing it wrong mm -hmm. but uh i don't know having the uh numbered priorities and like knowing what affects what it's very helpful so with this i literally have a stroke 17 times yeah i feel and you we just throw stuff at each other basically mm -hmm. and then one of them happens to land but yeah knowing that i'd be in a better position with the other things already taken care of is helpful yeah, yeah. So maybe, yeah. So that that's literally it could be my fault. So, um, well, you get that up of what I just said. Not a, well, no, because like it could literally just be information overload that could cause what you're talking about. Like it's just, I'm not sure exactly, but basically, don't mm -hmm. worry about it too much. This is like part of growing in general. Okay, you know when I was this is a cool story. When I, you know that, um. That belt people talk about in the back of my cam that I, I won it yeah. with, uh, like, Spawn, Pyrites. Mm -hmm. At that tournament, after we won, we went to the bar with, um, like, a lot of the players that were there at that tournament. And we mm -hmm. talked, and we talked to them. And I was talking to uh, Sudzy, who is, like, another challenger mid laner. And he, uh, he comes on the stream sometimes. But basically, mm -hmm. we were talking about skill cap. And he was, like, he was saying how those skill cap videos where I'm, like, breaking down basic stuff. Is like actually even helpful for challenger players sometimes because when you're trying to improve and optimize, it's easy to stray away from the most basic parts of the game and forget like how important the fundamentals are. Mm -hmm. So you kind of go away from the fundamentals trying to like improve something. Yeah. Um, so it's like it's not this is like a normal part of growing where like you learn the basics and then you learn a little bit more advanced stuff and then you maybe sometimes focus on the advanced stuff a little bit more than the fundamental mm. parts. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, so yeah, don't worry about it too much. This is, this is normal. Mm. Um, but yeah, as long as we just need to make sure we're totally focused on the right thing. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, oh, this is free. Okay. So let me ask you this. So first, did you see Camille behind you? No. Okay, that's that's. I didn't even know she was the support either. I thought she was the jungler all of a sudden. So you didn't see her in the brush, though. No. Okay, that's fine. Like, that's that's normal. It's gonna be that way for a while. Just know that. Um, mm -hmm. again, because this is all this is all coming down to mental stack. Like your mental stack is clearly way over too overwhelmed mm -hmm. to see her here. Yeah. And that's fine. That's completely normal. Um, I just needed to make sure. Because if you did see her and then you played it this way, then that would be a different discussion. Gotcha. But if you didn't see her, then this is, you know, this is whatever. And that, that will come with time, seeing her. <clears throat> so, yeah. Not, not, not too much to worry about here. Okay. Okay. All right. We have a kill chance coming here. Come on, give us something good. Oh, Ghost is pretty good. Could be better. Okay, let's see what you do. Uh-huh. Nice. So look, why why did she die there? 
what was what was the main mistake she made that caused you to kill her here? Honestly, I don't even remember. No, you know. Think about it. Why is she in lane with this low HP? How did this happen? Bro. Look, I'll go back and you can watch it again. We'll go back to after you died. What was her mistake? She didn't recall. She didn't fucking recall. Yeah, remember you. you... What? What? Good. Good. No, this is official special. I'm just saying. Yeah, that's what I was oh, gonna yeah. say. But you said it first, so I'm not the piece of shit. You said it, not me. So. Yeah, the fishtail special. She killed you, went and played patty cake in the river, and then didn't even crash the wave. Oh, no, she does end up crashing it, and then doesn't reset. See, like, it, these, this is how important recalls are. I'm not sure if you mm -hmm. fixed that or not. We'll, we'll see. But, good, uh, you played the, the tower, like, the dive? I'm very happy you dove. Most players won't even dive at this evo. And you played it really, really well, the dive. So that's great. <clears throat> Let me watch it one more time before Ghosted. Yeah, beautiful. Good. Didn't even waste bubble. Perfect. Alright. Oh, let's see. Fishtail special or no? Pog champ. I could I would say like you could hit the plate, but I don't even give a shit. Like, don't even worry about the plate. I don't even care. Most players mess up their recalls for the plates. So Yeah. It's bait. And you'll see me all the time, like, recall and lose plates in mid lane. Uh, because, yeah, like, you need, the, with death timers being as chunky cheese as they are, um, mm -hmm. it's better to have, like, I prefer the tempo over the plate any day of the fucking week. So, um, anyway. Alright. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Careful, careful. Okay, okay. Let's, um. So, look. Let's just, like, not even think about Braum for a sec. Let's just look at the wave state. Okay, now. What's the plan? What should be, like, the plan here coming back to lane? Let's just take Braum out of this picture entirely. Um, I mean, coming back to lane, I want the push, but right now, since she's out of it, I don't mind going to this play because she's losing stuff for it. Mm -hmm. Um, but I, I had, like, my camera over there, which is why I run into the play. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's let's just act like this isn't even happening either. Let's just say she's here. Oh. Ah. What's the plan from here? The to, to what is it called? Then it. I mean, yeah, I need to push back. That's what necessarily. Okay. I don't know if I need it to crash, but okay. um, or I don't know if I have to wait for it to crash, but I could then it, especially since I have six. Okay. That, I like it. Keep talking. Okay, so you, you want... So basically, why do you want to thin it? You... Uh, because eventually I want the push. Right, you want the push. Perfect. That's what mm -hmm. I'm looking for. So, goal is get the push, right? That's, that's, that's the goal. And then you said I could thin it because, you know, it's a big way of pushing into you. Um... Mm -hmm. So, like, yeah, you have options here on, like, yeah. how you are going to get the push. Um, you know, you could thin it, you know, and then eventually, you, if she either doesn't push the wave with her alt or if she doesn't push or it damage the minions enough, yeah, it would eventually turn into you pushing. Um, mm. If she alts the wave and cr it, then it crashes, then it'll, mm. you know, start slow pushing back to her. Mm. But point here is... That's like what when you walk into lane. That's what we want to be thinking. What what what's the plan? I want you to get the push. How can I get it? You can either mm. let them crash, or yeah, you can just try to damage the wave enough. If I were you here, considering mm. she's you know just got a kill, she's full HP, full mana, I oh. would just sit back here and let her push it in. Gotcha. Um, and like while she's pushing, like let's say she alts the wave, like. You know, throw one of those Chuck E. Cheese, throw Q back here, alt in, maybe try to sniper with it and try to damage her. That's fine, because mm -hmm. you you aren't going to be damaging the wave anyways. You're just gonna, you're, you've are you already made the choice to let her crash it and then go from there. Gotcha. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Just like a mentality, like a, a plan when you come into lane, so you're not too, like, overwhelmed with what you're doing. Um, I'm fine with the Panic Bubble on Braum. Okay, yep, let her, see, this is what Anivias tend to do here. Like, they're going to push, mm. that's fine. I'll let it crash, don't take damage. Yeah. No, 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 back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. See, this is grief. 
Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> um, maybe this is what's... Maybe? I don't know why... Way to go. That's fine. I mean, it's not like you would change anything here. This is like, nothing about this is changeable for you. Like, you cannot prevent mm -hmm. any of this. This, this, sure. none of it. Your team is just griefing, so... We just... Okay. Just let the wave crash so you don't take... Look how much damage you took. Yeah. Um, that's all. Ah, yes. Thank you, Riot, for this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Useful. How is this still on Zoe's drop table? I don't... I don't... It doesn't do anything, right? Oh, they balance. <laughs> it does nothing, right? I'm not missing anything. I don't think so. Wait, what the fuck? It says Profane Hydra. Restore missing HP for each champion hit. It, this is not even the right tooltip. What the fuck? This is like Gore Drinker or some shit. Is this not Gore Drinker from last season? Chat? Oh yeah, that is. This company is unbelievable, man. I mean, they're they're small. They are small. Yeah, yeah. We gotta give them the benefit <laughs> of the doubt. Yeah, true, true, true. Anyway, sadly, this I guess does nothing. Oh, damn, you got robbed on that one. But what, what's cool about this is, like, you know, you can see how well that one concept works. This is the one I was talking about. Like, since you jumped up this way, the odds of her walking towards you, like, this way in any way, just, it's so low. So, yeah. Right, throwing it there. Right, you're definitely getting robbed, though. Like, I, did it not go through her body? I just don't know. Uh, that did nothing, of course. Okay. Oh, this one's useful. Okay. Okay, so here... <clears throat> so, we're a little bit low on mana here. Not super low, but a bit low. So here, going for this... So basically, these minions are about to die, and then the wave stays going to be what? Even, right? Yeah. So then... As long as it doesn't get held up. Right, but basically, you guys are going to have even minions. Mm -hmm. So, if you guys are going to have even minions, what's the first step once the wave's even again? Get the push. Get the push, right? So this Q mm -hmm. right here is what should be used on the incoming minions first. Gotcha. Okay. So it's like rinse, rinse and repeat, that same game plan. New fresh wave, <laughs> get the push, then contest CS. Rinse and repeat. Mm -hmm. okay. Because just doing that right there, look, if I'm her... Like, oh, Zoe used Q, I walk up, alt this whole wave, reset. Yeah, I see. Okay. Um, but if she if she tries to do that when you have all your abilities up, you can actually contest her. Gotcha. Um, so, alright. So, yeah, you, this is where you Q these. Okay, okay, she alted the wave, walk up, use you sh what you should do here. Mm -hmm. Walk up, use the locket. Because she's alting the wave, try to bubble her. If you can, you can. If not... That's it. That's really the, your only option here because she does have more wave cleave than you. This is the the problem with uh Zoe. Nice cue though. So look, another thing I've noticed that you don't do. Look, so right here, this cue was great. Good read. Now, remember your W gives you the gives you move speed. So she used her stun. You land at the queue, mm -hmm. pop this for the move speed. You can pick up this and then just literally run point fucking blank. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Because then she can't dodge it. Gotcha. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't. I always give them like a fair distance. Right. So, yeah, I'm never right next to them. So, you make a good point. Because, like, if she has her stun up here, then walking point blank is a little bit different. Now, you're also making it yeah. so you're guaranteed to get hit. Gotcha. But she has nothing. Mm -hmm. That was, like, her trade-off of, like, hitting the wave. So, like I said, like, the getting the push is the first step, but let's say it's a scenario like this where, like, they are going to outpush you no matter what. Like, they're using abilities mm -hmm. on the wave. Mm -hmm. Then, like, you still have a, a punish window like this, like you did here. Mm -hmm. um, just need to execute. Um, so yeah, just walk up close to, him, to her. Your shield's going to eat all the minion damage or any damage she does. You'll guarantee land the bubble. You would get her egg here, probably, maybe. Uh, but, so, like, what I just described to you was, like, this play in a vacuum. Now, mm. 
the thing here is because of like i said earlier the mana you were a little bit low on mana your priority would need to switch to a recall before this whole thing happened but because now you're, you're you're just fucked again mm -hmm. to be honest yeah. um so yeah yeah zoe's actually just she's very hard to play like don't feel like she's she is literally the complete opposite of free elo she is elo deflation believe it or not <laughs> so don't feel too bad about like the climb being a bit of a struggle uh when i play this champ even in low elo i'm getting fucking tilted non-stop you've seen it like i just can't stand how inconsistent this champ can be uh so like it's i'm not saying to play someone different you should play who you like just letting you know not to feel too discouraged this champ's elo deflation literally so nice okay oh no oh no e oh it just can't you just got enough mana okay you kill her anyway so uh this is the, this is the longest i've ever seen <laughs> <laughs> fight at all. Yeah. That was really tough. Okay. All right. Well, luckily, you know, Gank came through, kind of bailed you out of the the shitty scenario. Yeah. Right, so it looks like you're you're going Lich Bane. Yeah. Let me see what Zoe players are doing currently. If that changed at all. Uh, looks like. Some of them are going Ludens first. Actually, no. Looks like they're all going Ludens. Really? Yeah, they're all going back to Ludens. And I think it's because, like, the nerfs to Alternator, the nerfs to Lich Bane. Like, now it's not worth skipping the mana item at this point. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, some of them. I... No, I wasn't thinking about that. Never mind. Uh, there's still one player here that... Actually, there are a few players that sometimes uh, just go Lich Bane, Shadow Flame. The thing with you, mm -hmm. if I had to recommend, Lich Bane, mm -hmm. Shadow Flame is going to be much harder for you when you're not, you know, at a specific level of play because you have to manage your mana so well. Gotcha. It's just like not. I wouldn't say. I wouldn't say it's worth. It. I would just go Ludens into uh, Lich Bane if I were you. Okay. Um, curious, is this your control ward? I think so. Yeah, it looks like it. Why'd you put this here? Well, I, it might have been autopilot, but I thought, I anticipated her pushing in. But, I mean, it's kind of useless right now. I'm, it's, it's whatever, I'm not too worried about your wards, that's way down the line. Um, only issue is like that little bit of time you took like your supports yeah, here again, nothing. this should be a kill, but yeah. Mm -hmm. um. Okay. Close. You can kill here though. Wow, this Anivia is just getting the mid lane special. Um Okay, so the only thing I'd say to change here is like so right here, when you uh, did this Q, then you did R, E. So right here, you should be like Q, then like passive auto, ignite. Mm -hmm. um, wait, I think, doesn't this actually use your passive auto for you? Does he? Hold on, I swear. Each missile can apply more sparkles. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, that actually used it, but I think it might waste. Wait, well, no, each missile can apply it. So, I think since this creates three missiles. It's technically better. Well, I just think you don't need to, I, I guess you don't need to focus on getting this auto. Well, actually, to be honest, should should auto regardless. Either way, I think you should do, mm. I think you do killer here. I'm not too worried about this, actually. It'd be too a little bit too specific. Um... <clears throat> But at least uh, you guys got her. Who cares if Camille, got Camille dies? Okay. So anyway, now that we're kind of out of laning phase, I don't even think this VOD was for the laning. It was for something else. Oh, uh, no. The laning's pretty fucking bad. So it's for everything. Wait, so here you actually 
Uh, so you crash the wave here. This is like, see, you just, this is like the sequence. Like, you killed her, mm -hmm. you crash the wave, mm -hmm. reset. Gotcha. That's what it's like always going to be. Unless, like, the death timer's so long that you know you can hit the tower. Like, basically, if she was dead for 10 seconds here, mm -hmm. sure, you can hit the tower, get a plate, reset, because then you, you'll basically get back at the same time as her. Gotcha. But you're going to lose your recall here, and now everything's, like, thrown out the window. Because she can immediately punish with her ult. Like this. Yeah. Uh-oh. Okay. If only you had enough damage for that. That'd be great. Okay. She's somehow only level 7? I don't know. How. Okay, nice. She's moving. You can maybe get a reset here. What a gift. Smite? Perfect, actually. Smite the cannon? No? Oh, see? What a gift. Wait. So, see, you're can... going to lose another recall. Right there. So that's that's the third thing. <laughs> so, <laughs> recall, you ding dong. There we go. Perfect. So, after you kill, or if they, if you push them out of lane, whatever it is, <laughs> make sure you recall. Because, you know, especially, this is actually exactly why I was saying it's going to be easier to, for you to play if you have Ludens. Yeah. Because... Um, Mistakes like this, you, you're going to get punished double because you don't have any mana. Okay, reset, reset, reset. Pain. So, all of this is, you know, even if you land this stuff, it doesn't do anything, right? Mm -hmm. Can't kill her. You don't have the mana to kill her. Uh, mm -hmm. So, yeah, just need to be purely focused on resetting here. Okay, so you might miss out on a bunch here. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Took a long time in base, too. Mm -hmm. I actually make it back for the experience, at least. Not too bad. So if you didn't take too long in base, you actually would have even made it back for, uh... I don't know why I tried to stop her here. No, this is good. This is good. You can definitely stop her. Look, because think about it. You stopping her here is basically the same as you overstaying. Like, now she lost her recall. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this was good. I think actually at this point in the game, your Q is 5.8. I think at this point you can actually like Q her first. Like Q, Alt in, mm. E. Wait. When does the Q cooldown start? When she casts it or after it's finished? Or we'll find out right here, I think. And use Q. Let's see. After the second? Mm. Yeah, it looks like after the second. Yeah, it looks like maybe you don't have enough CDR yet, because they're only asleep for what? Two seconds? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So yeah, I guess you need to actually need some CDR to do that. <clears throat> Either way, stop the recall, that's good. Okay. Oh, that would have been godlike if she was there. It's okay. Push the next wave. At this point, it's just going to become clear the wave, clear the wave over and over and over. Oh. R, E. Nice. Sorry, she's dead. Nice. Ignite it. W, ignite. Nunu? Brother? Wait. Am I missing something here? Can she be as egg? Wait. Even if he lets go of W though, it will it will roll until it hits something, and it broke on the small minion. It does. It only breaks on large monsters, champions, or walls. I'm confused. It 
It breaks if you let go on minions, but I thought it will roll through the minions. Unless it's like... Like, how does this not... I, I swear that this... Sh okay, so he pressed W. Then. He actually pressed W like a shitter. So broke on that little minion in front. What a bot. <laughs> anyway. Definitely... She definitely should have died. Both your teammates are just like watching her. I don't know. But... Wow, that was godlike actually. What the fuck? Wait. Wait, that looks slick as hell. Oh yeah, nice champ. Nice flash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see it. I just want you to see something here. The concept that I keep talking about. Like, look. You're coming from the right side. There's just no chance ever that she moves towards you. You know, this way. Yeah. That's why this lands. Yeah, that was actually sick, though. What the fuck? Yeah, it's like, it's, your Zoe mechanics aren't, like, what hold you back. Uh, it's basically just everything else. But, like I said, it is hard. But, okay, so... What happens this game? Let's go. I'll oh, speed up a little bit. Okay, push, push another wave. Okay, from here. After you push that wave, look. So you're level 12, you're stronger than her, so you push, and then from here your options go to like looking at side lanes. Top lane, nothing, Sion just died. Mid you got pushed. It's like a bit tough to kill her since you just used your bubble, so this is where you would go. Okay. Um, now, if there's no play to make down here, you can't dive them. There's nothing like this going on. Nothing up here to do. Then you can try to kill her. If you can't kill her, then you could like try to. We saw Lily up here. You could like move into the jungle, look to catch her moving this way, and bubble her or something like that. But this is the first step: push the wave, and then from there, you want to use your prio to maybe do something here. There won't always be that option, but... Okay. Okay, don't, don't, don't auto this support, because your controller here is good, but mm -hmm. look, the moment you auto it, mm -hmm. they see you, so... Just, like, let that ward sit there, because... There's a good chance you find someone, or, like, some, mm -hmm. they might even try to hit this control ward thinking you're not around. Um, you're only going to hit this when, like, you know there's no chance anyone's near and you have nothing better to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, because uh, okay. that would have been free. Oh, hello. Okay, so... Right here. So right here is where your mental stack shouldn't be too overwhelmed, but we need to know where it's at, basically. So what are you focused on here? What do you feel overwhelmed? Do you what are you looking for here? Um well, I do see the Fiora TP and want to like basically kill her, but I like I'm wanting a place where I have or they have no vision, so I can take advantage of the fact that I'm two levels up. Mm-hmm. Okay. But then I don't hit anything. I so, think. you were... So, what, when you... You saw the Fiora TP here, you said. Right? Mm -hmm. And then you saw this. So, now your, dis your choices came down to hit the ward or go here immediately. I see. So, yeah. and that's where you kind of... Your choice was hit this. Now... Since your E is down, I mean, I guess it's not... Well, if your E was up, would you have ignored this ward and walked over and bubbled this? Um, yeah, probably. Okay. I think so, because I didn't know what angle to get on her, or how I could definitely do it after she moves after this E. Okay, so... Main thing here is, so look... So, like, I even have this issue on Zoe a bit, where... Sometimes I'll throw a bubble like or like the way you did here that like looks like it'll land, but because basically the further away you're throwing something, you know, the probability of it landing goes down no matter what. Um, because so much can happen in between the time. So like even though this looks good at the start, 
It's RNG. Whether she keeps mm -hmm. walking or turns around like this, like, it's impossible to know. Yeah. So, that's why I was saying I feel like the trick, really, is to just, like... Um, I haven't actually played a Zoe game since I thought of this, but when I play Zoe next, I'm mm -hmm. going to, in a scenario like this, I'm going to Q first, alt in, so I'm like right, basically right on top, and then use the E. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes you're going to E through the wall like this, but I, it's a good habit to get into, I think, um, mm -hmm. of like, because like this, it's okay to miss since a five second cooldown. This is a little bit more valuable. So, I think starting with Q, and then alting in and, and making the E have a higher chance of landing, is the way to go here. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, so why did you Q over here? Hmm. I... I'm not sure. Like, I think it's because I didn't feel like I could hit anybody, but that's kind of bullshit, so... I don't know, Dragon Illness? I mean, you know, it's not, it's not Dragon Illness if, like, you if the, the dragon's low HP made you think mm -hmm. to Q over here. That's normal. Um, so when we talk about mental stack, when you're going into fights like this, like, remember... Like, you kind of want to just, like, train yourself to block out the dragon's HP because it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Like, focus on what's in front of you. Because, like, this is actually kind of sick, the, the little pincer move you guys got going on here. Look at this. This is a sick ult coming in from Scion from behind them. <coughs> you got Nunu here, you here, and then Smolder here. Like, you guys could probably actually kill them here. Mm -hmm. Nunu has to go in and stop being a bot, but... Yeah, your Q needs to be... Because if you just send it, it's like shooting fish in a barrel here. Yeah. Um, and that could be super valuable. I mean, look at that. Yeah, I... I'm not sure I saw Scion, which is concerning to me. No, 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 so... no, no. I don't expect you to see Scions here. There's no way. There's too much happening. Um, okay. The important part here is just, like, hitting what's in front of you. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, like, if, if I had saw Scion, I feel like I would have felt better about the fight. Since there's, like, four of them there... And I didn't know Sion was there. Mm. I like just figured they're just gonna turn on us. Mm. So it doesn't even matter because the smolder's like dead or a bot lane. So. I see what you're saying. Okay, so basically, it almost is like you block this part out because it looked lost anyway. Nothing you can do, so might as well try to hit her or hit the dragon yeah. or whatever. I see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, I wouldn't say like yeah, you should see Sion. Well, well actually, it, I, I think so. We saw Sion here. Think about it like this, actually. So, like, currently, like, the enemy team is pretty far up here. You know, they're, they're mm -hmm. pretty far away from any, like, real safety. So, mm -hmm. even if this fight's technically a bit over, hitting them mm -hmm. with Q here could call, you know, could cause them to overstay. Like, if they do overstay, you punish. You, you're basically kiting. Yeah. You know, po you poke, 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 and if they overstay, mm -hmm. you punish. Uh, and then if they try to, you know, if they try to run, you chase them down, whatever. Basically, focus on what's in front of you for sure. Uh, not, I'm not too worried about this. Uh, uh, but, oh no. Yeah, that, that's unfortunate because the Scion actually popped off here. Yeah. Yeah. That is unfortunate. Smolder killed Fiora. Yeah, so, whatever the reason was, sadly, that, this fight could have been really good for you guys. Because mm -hmm. uh, now you're over here, but it, now, now this part of the fight really is, like, basically over. I think you can kill her, though. Ignite? Nice. Yeah. Oh, no. She still has ult. Nice R. Nice. Alright, that was worth for you. Okay, not too bad. Uh, just that one little thing kind of. Uh... Kind of wild how much that changed things. Yep, changed a lot. Yeah. That's the kind of the thing with this game is like, 
if that happens uh, uh, pretty frequently, how something seemingly small could could change things a lot. Um, okay, they're all top. Nice. Yeah, you can use Lich Bane. The only problem with being down here... Well, actually, let me just go back. So first, let me start with... So if I'm you here, mm -hmm. um, going bot when... Like, if we see Fiora down here, you don't really ever want to be near her. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And there's no wave to catch here anyway. So, gotcha. I would only be coming down here if this wave was actually, like, about to crash. You collect it, go somewhere else. Uh, now, she leaves here. She resets from Scion Split Pushing. From here, you know, Baron is up, so it'd be nice to be near Baron. But since you can't really yeah. do much, you might as well take this tower. Nice, you do that. Um, I would say, see, this is why I fucking hate Zoe. I would say, hey, push one more wave, but that's going to take you a whole goddamn year. And by that time, they could be killing your, your, your Nexus. So I actually do agree with this route. I, I don't think there's another champ in the game. I would say I agree with you rotating here like immediately. But with this champ, I, I do agree. Um, Okay, careful, careful. Can't definitely don't want to be using bubble on cannons when like something's happening right next to you. Bro. Yeah. Because could make a play here. Yeah, she's just like face checking you. Good flash. Need bubble here. Nice bubble. Thank you. Ooh, thread the needle too. New new, hello? No. Next season we'll do it. Right, here he comes. Okay, so again, okay, so, 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 right here, you landed that nice bubble on Anivia, now, you're, you're worried about her, but, like, think about this, let's say you hit her with bubble, like, you can't kill her, Yeah. she's too tanky, mm -hmm. so this is, like, going back to this over here, like, just focus on what's in front of you, focus on what you can actually kill, yeah, um, because she drew you away from what's... Imp like, you guys can actually wipe them here. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see what happens, though. Yeah, look. Finally, Nunu does job. But y'all are, like, you know, it's too far. Yeah, and then they they get away because of it. That should have been you guys killing everybody. Yeah. What a shit show. Okay. She died. That's good. Okay. Okay. Okay, grab the flash. Nice champ. Okay. Yeah, good reset. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine to collect this. Sadly, can't really push that much further. I mean, I think you have free time here. Yeah, you do have some free time, so you could. It's like you're on Baron's side of the map, so it's fine to take a little bit more time here compared to bot side. So I would push one more if I were you. Good. One more wave. Oh, nice. Thank you, Riot. Okay, there we go. Okay, never really gonna catch her like that. So if yeah. I'm you here, I would either be sending it like through this wall or something. But more like what I actually would have done um, is mm -hmm. not even try to go for her because if you, as you can see, this fight's happening like on your side of the map. Vayne yeah. can't run through you here. Yeah. So that means you're gonna get to here first. Mm -hmm. So that's what you should have abused. Um, that's just like a, a kind of a map awareness thing of seeing like where the fight's happening. Because as you can see, yeah, you get here first. Uh, let's see what. Close. Okay. Oh, nice. Kill her too. Ah, oh, good try. Okay, hold on. Okay, so you do this, into this. So after you hit her like that, um, so why did you uh, click backwards here? Um, I shouldn't have been because I am two levels up on her, but it is Vayne and I know that she does have heals. So I don't know, I was scared because I had been behind all game. Though yeah. I have a couple shutdowns. You definitely haven't been behind. You've been ahead, for sure. You're still ahead. Okay. Um, But more importantly, you could be, like, giga far behind here. Like, let me ask you this. 
what kills her here? What what do you need to do to kill her here? Like exactly. What abilities, okay. if any? Yeah, I just think a short Q could do it. Maybe just right in front of me. And okay. Sparkles. What about alt with a Lichbane auto and Shadow Flame? I just ulting and autoing. I'm not. I wasn't sure if that could kill her. Okay. So, EQ, but she is pretty squishy. So remember, this like makes you crit, right? Yeah. Or, so okay. does two hundred percent increased damage. That means Lich Bane, two twenty two, passive auto another one sixty five, base AD, one hundred two. An additional twenty percent. Definitely gonna be overkilling her here for sure. Um, mm -hmm. Now, let's say she had just a little bit too much HP for that to kill. Then you would just be walking forward, ready for the mm -hmm. next Q. Um, but basically, like, think about it like this: mm -hmm. How long will it take Vane to kill you here? Uh, probably a second. Like, I'll have enough time to get that damage off. It, it'll take her a good like three, four seconds. To kill you. Because okay. Vayne's, Vayne's not really a burst champ. Especially without crit. Like, she's more like... She has to auto you multiple times. You know, to get mm. silver bolts, stuff like that. Okay. So, like... It would take her a while to kill you. You could actually just probably stand here and auto her to death. Before she could kill you. But... Mm. It's gonna take a while. So, yeah. basically, she has no threat on you, like, at all. Whereas mm. you are one auto from killing her with Lich Bane. So... Yeah, definitely should be walking forward. De shouldn't be afraid at all of her when, of anybody, when they're really low HP. Mm -hmm. That's like what Zoe ex honestly like excels at. Mm -hmm. Is is killing low HP people because of how much free damage she gets from passive auto, Lich Bane. Yeah, yeah. Now she's getting a bit of HP. Wow, godlike bubble though. Okay. That concept worked again. If we want to look at it, look. You're here. If she's smart, she moves this way. Looks like you actually visually waited to see where she, what she chose. Yeah, that was sick. I think I would have missed. I would have thought she wouldn't put herself on the wall in this elo. Um, but anyway, you killed her at least. But definitely should have killed her a bit earlier too. Okay. Now you guys have... I wonder what this one says. Hmm. Nice. Good tool tip. <laughs> well done, Riot. Okay, push again. Which is Comet though? Wait, Comet's kind of popped off. Okay, this is perfect. This is what we want mid prio for. Okay, look, 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 look. So this is so important. Like, you're fed. You got this way pushed. Perfect. This is the first step always in the mid game. Now, from here, it's like evaluating. Do I need to go here or can I catch them rotating? Yeah. So here, like, this is 3v1. You definitely don't need to be up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Instead, if I were you, I'd be looking to catch them rotating. So, mm. I'd just be sitting in that brush. You would see that right there, and then you just throw the bubble over. Um, but now they're kind of—they could be anywhere. But see, you did—you did a half. You, if you're whichever one you choose, like if you're gonna mm. commit to walking over here, you kind of gotta go all the way because they're, the enemy team is gonna be showing up. Yeah. Okay. So, like, you either use your prio, your mid prio, to get there first. Or you use it to pick them rotating. Either one works. I see. Okay. So, like, even if you ran all the way over here and nothing happened, it's fine. There's no right or wrong answer, technically. But, you know, this, of course, wasn't a good use of time. Um, yeah. Now they're over here, and now they're losing, whereas you would have been here to, to change this. Mm -hmm. That would have been a big play, too, because you guys could get Baron. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, Zoe party time, yep. Wow. Alright. I'm a, a bit, bit of a slut, slice. aren't I? Okay. Go to Baron, go to Baron. Oh no. Alright, this is fine. Now go to Baron. No, your poor smolder. <laughs> your poor smolder. <laughs> Spam pinging Baron. He's right, but. 
Okay. You guys definitely should have went to Baron. I think, uh... Yeah. It seems off. That's tragic. But I should have known either way. Right. Like, okay. even if you help ping and, like, head to Baron, if your teammates don't, like, your jungler doesn't, everybody leaves, then same result. Nothing you can do. Mm -hmm. But it, the odds of them going to Baron, if you guys are both going to it, it just, it just goes up. Um, so why are you resetting now? I don't know. I can't recall. I I don't know. Maybe it's my mana? Cause, but he just continues on alone. Well, because, like, you guys did get a pick. Mm -hmm. So, like, abusing that pick here gotcha. is important. So, like, you would try to look for a pick here for, like, 15 seconds. Then you mm -hmm. probably reset. Gotcha. Unless there's literally no play to make, then sure, you can recall. But, yeah, there definitely is a play to make here. You should just be shadowing him. Because you know... Yeah. Like, this is what they see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even if they just saw you here, if you walk out of vision for three seconds, it completely disappears. It falls right out of their head. Yeah. And then you're just bubbling over the wall, catching them chasing. Because, yeah, they're just, like, tunneled. Barb, oh, thanks for the gifted sub, by the way. Ah, uh, now they're all... Yeah. So, like, this fight right here, the enemy team is making a mistake because, like, they're forcing this with, mm -hmm. you know, their Lily is dead, Anivia is coming out of base, like, she shouldn't totally be here yet, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, this is kind of what's causing this game to not end or, like, get substantial leads. You're just kind of not where you need to be currently. Gotcha. You're, you're doing the first part. Mm -hmm. You're pushing mid. Now, just, like, using <laughs> either, like, a pick you guys get or using mid prio to be there first or catch them rotating. Mm -hmm. That's your goal. So, like, even here, look, look. Let's say you feel like you can't kill them here. Think, think about it. Mm -hmm. Where will they go after this? Bot? Right. They're, they see people fighting. It's like moss to a flame. Mm -hmm. So then you would be, you know, you would either sweep through here or you could sit here. Like, you're just... They, watch. Let's just see what they do. Look. look, look, look. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And you because you had mid-prio, like, without mid-prio, you don't have the option to catch them rotating here. But gotcha. because you got mid prio, you can just go camp right over here like a little rat and then bubble free kill. Mm -hmm. So like that's what we need to fix now. That's like what's okay. that is how you would end this game. Okay. Alright. So we'll stop that one here because I think that's actually the best place to stop, because that's like all um that's currently what's happening over and over, basically. Um does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. That cool. does. Okay, so, and then you wanted to see the laning phase from the other one. Yeah, I, for some reason, I don't know. Like, especially against other mages, but particularly for some reason, Ari right now. Mm. I'm just, uh, I don't know. I turn into a potato, and I'm not, I don't have a plan on what to do. So it's okay. I like get fed here, but it's only on accident, I think. It's not really because I won the lane. You can see my screen, right? Uh yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. So Okay. So this cue, what was the purpose of it? What was the This is another this is like kinda of like I said in the last one. I'm always torn on what to do like the first move on the wave and i know i need the push right uh -huh. so not pushing it too fast going for the casters instead don't worry about what i'm doing okay yeah that's that's definitely going a little bit too far okay. definitely don't <laughs> worry about like pushing too fast let's just make sure we're pushing first okay okay um which means yeah let's hit the melees with this if we're gonna do that um okay. and then uh, like, you don't have to even cue the wave here if you don't want. Like, you can also cue her. Uh, mm -hmm. Now, if she's, like, let's say she, like, cues the whole wave, mm -hmm. then, like, maybe you would you could potentially hit the frontline minions. But basically, you can get prior over the wave just by, like, punishing them with your Q, hitting them with it. Yeah. They'll get okay. scared. Okay, that was good. Nice. That was actually perfect. Okay. And as you can see, look. Even though she kind of damaged the wave a little bit more than you, now that mm -hmm. you're like, 
bullying her because she's using W and shit for no reason, yeah. now mm. you're going to get control of the wave. That's what this is supposed to look like exactly. So, gotcha. uh, this is good. Now walk up with your wave, though. Get ready to hit her again. Nice. Yeah, these are perfect cues. I don't know. Where were these in the last VOD? I mean, that was the last. <laughs> that was the 15th loss. Was the <laughs> I don't know which one this is, so maybe I still had. Do you see one. why these are perfect, though? Um, Look. yes. Like, these are all angles where you're not greeting for damage. You're just putting it at angles where, like, she can't. Like, she can't. It's very hard to dodge this. Mm -hmm. Like, if, if you were going for full damage, you know, you and you're over here and you're throwing it back here. That's, mm -hmm. like, way different. But. Here, she basically, it's very tough for her to dodge with how fast this thing moves. So that was perfect. And then, other than the very first Q you threw at the back line, like this was perfect. Not greeting for damage again. Can't dodge it. It's too fast. These are all perfect. And I think you even do it again. Yeah, like this. This is perfect. She can't, she can't dodge this. And you're going to hit the wave too. Yeah. Like, those are exactly, literally, I'm not even lying, you can't even optimize those. Those are perfect. Okay, okay. Um, it makes sense why those are perfect, though, right? Yes, they're not easy to dodge. I'm using passive autos, and I am getting the push even just by punishing her for using W on the wave. Right. Exactly. Am I missing something? No, that's perfect. I mean, really, all I'm looking for here is like, like you see, you're you're just making sure they land more than yeah. getting max damage. The damage isn't as, you know, you don't want to optimize the damage. Mm -hmm. um, now here's where you should be walking forward about to hit level two. Might have been looking thinking about something else, but when things are going perfect like that level one, and you're kind of bullying them off the way, like right here, look, you can tell here that you're going to hit level two first. See how many minions you have left? Yeah. Next wave shows up, you, so you should know you're going to hit two first. You hit her with a perfect Q. Boom. She is killable now. Like, you've done level one so well mm -hmm. that now at this point, all it takes is killing that one minion, walking up with Bubble, and she's dead. Yeah. Um. Sadly, Mental Stack might have been somewhere else with... Yeah, I'm not sure. Let's see. It looks like now you see you hit two, though. You can just make it a little... Nice. Okay, she's dead. Yeah, she's dead. Goodbye. Yo, this was nearly perfect level 1 to 2. What the fuck you mean accident? Okay, well, I mean, that's on purpose, kind of. But the rest of it, I don't think... Like, I mean, there's this actually a, a particular part of the lane in which I have confusion. After these, like, three uh, minion waves and, like, kind of playing around their lack of abilities, okay. I kind of lose focus where I don't know what I should do. I mean, obviously we've covered that, that I need the push regardless, but since they have all of their abilities, I'm like, I'm needing windows, especially with these mages, because I can take a lot of damage and I can't abuse them like I can uh, with other melees or with melees. So I get a little confused on what to do. Okay. So I'm probably overthinking way. it. So here, though, so I'm, so now that we kind of went over all the stuff I went over in the last VOD, nothing will change, basically. So, like, all mm -hmm. I've basically given you all the concepts in the last VOD, and it'll apply to this one, too. So instead of me just breaking down every little thing, now mm -hmm. I'm more going to ask you what you think you should have been doing. So, since, you know, okay. I, 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 we already covered it. So, you kill her here. Now, what's what's the plan? What should we be thinking about? Uh, resetting? Okay, so how do we do that? Um, we crash, but she does have TP and right. uses it instantly. Okay, so then it comes down to, so th then you think, can I crash this wave before she TPs? The, the way you figure mm -hmm. that out is looking at your own wave, because that's where hers is mm -hmm. too, then. Oh. So, can you kill these four before that wave gets here? Yeah, definitely. Okay, yeah. So then you should... But see? I am doing that so slow. All right, you're not. Because that little piece I, that I just said, you weren't okay. thinking about. Okay. Right, I'm assuming that's not what you were thinking. Yeah, I mean, I knew that she had TP and that probably made me malfunction because I wasn't sure. 
I, I definitely didn't look back at the wave to see that I could crash it. I just assumed that I couldn't and I would need to stay. But, mm -hmm. okay. That's okay. That's why I gave you that piece right there. Just because of that we didn't cover in the last one. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's how you make your decision. Because if this is way up here, you know hers is here too. So then you'll just push this slowly. But because you didn't crash this, look what's going to happen. It's going to do one of those half crashes. We're like, now her tower is going to help her thin, but you, you still need to stay. Yeah. So this is a, not a situation we totally want to be in, but you, it's not, not terrible. It's not like you have really low HP. So from here, what do we do? Um, well, it sucks because that is the cannon wave. I want to crash here, obviously, mm -hmm. because I have money and I'm not. I don't have an advantage over her anymore, so, okay. but I think I'm focusing minions here, but... Well, looks like you were aiming for her. Huh. You can okay. tell me. Maybe. I mean... I don't know for sure. I could be like, I could have tunneled and just wanted to hit her. <laughs> right, and that would be the big <laughs> issue here, if that was yeah. right. Huh. Yeah. Because... Currently, your priority is just get this wave crash so you can reset. Um, we'll see mm -hmm. what you do. Two points Q, okay. Okay. I see right here, you walking up like this, it looks like you're walking up to try to potentially bubble. Yep. yep. But this is exactly what it was. Okay. After you throw this Q, what should you do? Uh -huh. Maybe even bubble the cannon. Like yeah, yeah. no, that's kid. literally exactly it. That's what I was going to okay. say. I'm surprised you, like, see, see, you, you know more than you think you know, because normally when I ask you, what should you do? You know the answer. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that, but you see, when you're in game, though, you get back to that kind of tunnel vision of, like, hitting them. Yeah. Um, so, like, every time you kill them, your, your priority turns to recalling. Yeah. Okay. So here, now you have to be a little bit careful with this concept of like using bubble on the cannon though. Only the only reason you use it here is because you're going to kill these and then it quickly kill this and then back away and recall. But mm -hmm. if like there's another wave coming or something or like you know she has kill pressure on you, throwing your bubble there can kind of leave you vulnerable. Yeah. So if I were you, I'd just be standing right behind the cannon. I'd auto this, bubble this, passive auto this, Q mm -hmm. or auto the cannon, but then recall. But see you got hit by this because look, you're not I'm focused on the correct thing. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah. <clears throat> um, oh boy. Okay. And now technically Wait. Take the other thing. No, I stay. Well, either way, regardless of if you stay here or not, that I don't even care about because okay. it's just a bad scenario no matter yeah. what, whether you stay or yeah. or don't. Yeah. Um, but you can see here how this problem kind of, you know, comes up frequently where you kill somebody, mm -hmm. you do all that good stuff, and then throw it all out the window. <laughs> so, like, that's the that's other thing. Happens. Where is our little notepad here? Recall you ding dong. Wait, we already have it there. Yeah. Recall you ding dong. It's already right there. Number three. Perfect. So. <laughs> even that bubble was a waste of your time. Oh, it's so doomed. All of it is, is so like, and I think this is the period of time in which I'm like clouded, and like I mean I know theoretically what I should have done is back, and maybe I know it there right now, but I don't. It, I don't know. It's hard for me to you know lost. to help you if I don't know exactly what's preventing you from doing it. Like, is it? Did you think? Oh, this next wave's here already. I don't think I'll have enough time. Yeah, I can't push fast enough. Is what. I feel like, but I'm not noticing that I'm, like, also not really using stuff on the way. Like, that's not, like, where I'm shifting my focus. I'm still trying to... Right. Stuff. That's the issue. Because, okay. yeah, okay. here, yeah, like, your champ isn't designed to be able to quickly cl clear this and leave. Mm -hmm. Technically, like, if I'm Ari, you, you, your lane's over for sure. You're not getting this. You're definitely not getting this crashed, and you're, you're either taking an L and recalling, mm -hmm. or you're going to die overstaying. There's no other option. So, you know, we never want to be in that spot. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's just like what you do after you kill them. Sometimes, you know, let's say it was a close 1v1. They TP back in. Wave gets fucked. That 
you know, that's the game being shit. And sometimes there's no easy answer. But these, yeah. what this whole game so far is just like fundamentals. Yeah. Okay. Cause look, you're you're still like walking up and like trying to hit. Cause like she missed charms. I'm assuming like, oh, she missed charm. I can walk up punish. Yeah, I'm. Yeah. But like, how do you? This will do, let's say, half her HP, but then that's the rest of your mana. So how do you do the other half? Yeah, I'm not thinking about it at all here. You know what I'm saying? Fucking nuts. Yeah. Brain. So this is why we call it the fishtail special. <laughs> okay. It's, it's the, the it's fishtail classic. <laughs> I mean, like multiple of these things you told me over and over, so it's frustrating. Yeah, it's I feel you. That's why, um, like it could literally just be from uh, thinking about too much, trying to apply too much, uh, yeah. whatever. Ah, oh, damn. I like the buy though. I like the magic pen shoes buy. Okay, so waves frozen. We ble let her bleed. Okay, so what's the plan from here? Waves frozen. What do we do? Um, I'm just letting her bleed as much as she can because since she doesn't have TP. Yeah. But then I want the push back. Okay, so then what will we do when she shows up? Push. <laughs> push how? She'll have the push advantage. So how do we? How do you get it? Oh, I thin the wave. Or I let it crash. Right. Yeah. Let it crash is going to be the answer most of the time here because oh, okay. you don't have the mana to just like spam the wave, you know, I at this point in the game, it. especially. Mm -hmm. So you just let it crash. Then, because that, that's all this freeze is for. Let her bleed. She comes mm -hmm. back. Let her crash it unless she grease somehow. Mm -hmm. And then you start your, your win condition. Okay. Oh boy. Yes, yeah, so like here. Oh god. Right, like she should punish you for this shit hard. Just it's the same yeah. exact thing that you try to do to Anivia. Yeah. So something's making you waltz on in like into big waves like this when it's frozen for some reason. Yeah. Um I'm out. I I don't know why. So that that's good that I know now. Yeah, so now you know what you should be doing in these scenarios. Luckily, she misses somehow. Oh, missed the bubble too. Or the balloon, whatever the fuck I'm gonna call it. Okay, this is where you should hit the melees. Well, you don't have to hit the melees. Um, depends what we're trying to go for. If we're just trying to push, hitting the melees. If we're just trying to clear out the back line so we can try to pressure and kill her. Yeah. I'd rather you I just... Didn't know what I was doing there, but I wasn't thinking about getting the push, which probably should have been. Right, yeah, I'd rather you start with, like, prioritizing the push first, then you'll learn when you can deviate a bit. Um, we'll see what you do here, though. Okay. Ignite. Oh, she should be dead. Okay, so definitely could have killed her there without flash. Um, let me see what you did here. Need two. Then you should be ignite, ignite, auto, and then you should be like staying really close to her and just autoing her to death. Because she has no, like, she can't kill you. Maybe God. that's what you didn't it's have here. Scary, yeah, because you seem to be a little, like, afraid or almost, like, hesitant. Yeah. But either way, you got her. Um. Okay, so tell me we push this wave and reset. For the love of God, tell me we don't stay again. <laughs> There's no way you stay with this HP. God bless. <laughs> God bless, we did it. That's why Magic Pen shoes are a great rush, by the way. That's why I was talking about that. Because <clears throat> you had 1,100 gold, like, perfectly for it. And it's super mm -hmm. snowball-y. That's why you just, like, basically one-tapped her. <coughs> okay. Well, he's going to slow push. <coughs> uh... Oh, the shitter's here. Look at this guy. Ooh, movement? Oh no. Wait, okay. So, this was good. This was good. Now from here though, after you did this, now, where are you running to? I, I don't, I feel like it's the same thing with Ari, like I'm scared of her. Or the same thing as before with Ari, particularly. I know that she can 
do almost as much burst as me. Oh. So you... I'm a little worried. <laughs> Maybe not almost as much. I know I'm Chuck E. Cheese's help. Well, not even close. She... Yeah, she does nowhere near the okay. damage you do. Um, right. Now, she can do a decent amount of damage of landing everything, but see, like, so when you, when she missed her charm right there, or you dodged it, either one, like, did you, did that register in your brain? Like, oh, she just missed charm? I mean, I know I walk in that direction in order to miss it, but I, that isn't, I don't think, registering in my brain that now she only has, like, one Q and a W. Right, because, like, Pike, he used Q, and then he used E, so he has nothing. Yeah. In Char the middle of the fight, I'm not taking into that count. Okay. Good. So that's a little bit tougher to know, you know, like improve on, but it is important, like when you're in fights, to be like assessing your threats, because then you know what you can do and what you can't do. So, right. in this particular fight, if I'm you, I'm looking literally only for CC abilities, like Pike E, uh, Pike Q, Ari Charm. Those three were just used. So then, mm -hmm. at this point, it's just forward, because they're fucked. Yeah. Now. At a certain point in your league journey, you'll progress from here to, okay, could someone else be around? Because, like, we're not even talking about the fact if Amumu could be behind them or whatever, or, like, if Karma's here, like, your teammates are closer. We're just talking about purely what we've seen and how to respond to what we've seen. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, definitely should have been moving forward here. They should not live through this, and they do. Um, yeah. So, yeah, that, that was supposed to be a big punish. Nice, thanks, game. Let's see if this one has a tooltip. Minions and monsters below 50% health take 200% damage? I'm pretty sure that's profane. Oh, Lord almighty. I don't know what the fuck this is. I don't know. This game's shit, obviously. Like, what? I, I don't even know. There's just, they're just disgusting. Um, Now, here, you have the push here. So, look, look. You're pushing, you're pushing, this is good. Yeah, Q backline, boom. And she used charm. This is great. Now, like, like, see, this is forcing. Yeah. Like, she's not going for a CS. How, mm -hmm. when will she be going for a CS next? How can you plan ahead here? I can push it into tower. And then... Right. So, you push it into tower. You can sit right over mm -hmm. this wall. E this way. Mm -hmm. You know, you can do whatever you want. You can just throw cues from off the screen. Mm -hmm. But this right here, this is like, you know, just a big fat waste of everything. Mana, yeah, cooldown. I feel like I do this a lot, too. And, mm -hmm. like, I'm way too far away from them. Like, I'll, I'll never hit them. But, yeah. Because... I, I flagged it a lot. Well, why, why is she too... Like, why is she so far away here? Why isn't she closer? Because I didn't crash the wave. Well, Is that what you're looking it's because I'm not actually sure. Because there's no CS to get. She's oh. not missing anything. Yeah, that's yeah, that makes sense. See so that that's the you know that's the first rule of that's like the yeah. first thing in lane. That's like so, it's the push right. So if we go back to this, land mm -hmm. your cues early. You did it. Wave state. You did it. Recall after killing them. So now we can add a different one. Um, we can move this down one. Contest CS. Boom. There's your game plan. Contest CS. You'll kill them. Then you recall. Back to step one. And then you rinse and repeat. Sweet. So, that's why this happens right there. Mm -hmm. um, now, this is where you'd be fishing. Now, you'd send some ease. Um, and especially when, like, you need to manage your mana. Uh, uh, yeah. Honestly? I recommend going. I think Zoe, you should just go like Doran's Ring, Dark Seal, Corrupting Pot. I planned on testing that on Lulu today. Um, but I'm sick and tired <laughs> of not being able to use Corrupting Pot. Fuck it. I'm just using Corrupting Pot. Um, nice. That thing was useful. Thank you, Riot. Okay. okay so look. Same thing. And same reason. Yeah. No CS for her to go for. Now, like, if she, if you walk all the way up like that, right, and then she's, like, walking up here, then, like, mm -hmm. 
sure. And like you know, if you know yeah. you have damage, or sure you can try to land something. But if mm -hmm. they're respecting you, then it's just forcing at that point. Mm -hmm. And now we're out of mana. Yeah. Didn't reset. God damn it. Now you're gonna get stuck here. Like so again, this is it giving her a chance if she has any clue. Mm -hmm. She can win the lane back right here. Yeah. Might miss a wave for it. No. Okay. Yeah, at this point you can hit backline for sure. This is fine to go for since she's way up. I would have liked an auto there for Electric Cube, but I know you're afraid of the charm. Nice. That was solid. Okay. Mmm. Wait. So, you could have killed her here. Um, mm -hmm. So, like, this Q is really good. You, boom, boom. Now, if you walk up here, because you haven't proc Electrocute yet, like, you actually could just kill her with Ignite Auto. Uh, gotcha. It would proc Electrocute, and then she dies. But either way, that bubble I don't like because she's already so low that you just need to land like one thing with an ignite auto and like she yeah. there's no way the bubble lands so you should just be hard pushing this wave and getting ready to die okay yeah hard push oh nice yeah now push this in and diver okay okay these cues are actually pretty tricky from zoe when uh, only the like good zoe's do this like i didn't actually run into many zoe's that did this until attention kind of like throwing it this way but then approaching from the other side mm -hmm. but again you're just wasting all your abilities as like before the wave crashes now you don't have yeah yeah mm -hmm. like this is where you should be getting ready to kill her okay this is fine okay so using that there like even mm -hmm. if it lands what you do half his health that does nothing. He just runs into the jungle. Chuck E. Cheese heals off of everything. Mm, okay. But now you don't have it for her. Yeah. Okay. Q, Q, Q. Oh, no. All right. So she just got a free recall here. So basically all that happened was you kept using your abilities before crashing. Mm -hmm. So she got away with it. Mamumu came through. You wasted ability on him. And then now, because Pike's here, you're afraid of him, but you don't actually have to be afraid of any of them. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, a Mumu CC you could be afraid of, but if you're hugging over here, you can just kill the Pike. Like, if Pike, if you bubbled Pike, you'd one-shot him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, especially when you have heal up like this, you definitely shouldn't be afraid. Yeah, yeah, hit this guy. Now she can recall, and all that work you just did, gone. Mm-hmm. So like you're doing, you have like a few of the steps. You're just missing some others. Um, okay. So let's talk about this real quick. So look, normally with Zoe, like a lot of the time, yeah, you'd be fighting like this, like over the walls. Mm -hmm. But here, like mm -hmm. you have a heal, you guys win this extremely hard. Mm -hmm. It's a support and a jungler versus y you and your jungler. And you have mm -hmm. heal in your level 9, your full HP, you have ignite, you're fed, Ari had to recall. Mm -hmm. So you should just be walking mm -hmm. in. Gotcha. Okay. Like, melee range these motherfuckers, for sure. Because the problem with playing it like this is like, look, that's it. Now you have nothing. Yeah. And we'll play, you kill no. Grab that flash? No? Wow, you actually protected the president. Oh yeah, you can kill her too. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> okay, hold on, let me just take a look at York real fast while this shit's going down. Mm. Mm. His best life. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, don't worry. Don't walk over and auto her once. Don't, don't worry, pal. You just enjoy yourself. Okay. Nice. Yeah, nice. Okay. So this lane actually wasn't that bad. It's literally just missing those little pieces. Yeah. It's like that period of time in which I can tell that I'm forcing stuff and I tell that I can tell it's not right but I keep doing it anyway mm -hmm. and yeah so hitting that particular area yeah is there anything else in that game before I close it that I should I don't 
think so. Okay. Like, I'll review and see, but yeah. I think it really was that it, against both horrors that I went against, I felt that, like, robotic, empty-headedness, and I was just not doing anything. So... You need yeah. to, like, ask yourself. Like, so, like, you when you're playing, you're like, okay, she's killable. I know she's killable. How do I... How do I kill her here? You... A lot of the time, it's just going to be either contesting... if Like, you want to contest a CS, but if, if you can't... If she's just sitting way mm-hmm. back, then you crash and contest... Mm-hmm. And then you can test the CS she's farming under tower, because otherwise she just has to give, right? Yeah. Okay.